coming to examination uh, see you have got to have a focused head to foot examination as well because certain causes of ataxia may have these findings for example uh, kyphoscoliosis can be a part of Frederick's ataxia as well as ataxia with vitamin E deficiency and A beta lipoproteinemia T lengjectasias pes cavus okay so T lengjectasias can be a part of uh, or maybe a feature of ataxia T lengjectasia pes cavus again Frederick's ataxia eye manifestations cherry red spot in the macula in case of sialidosis and Tay-Sachs disease cataract can be a part of mitochondrial disorders and uh, cerebro tendinous xanthomatosis KF ring in Wilson's disease yeah telangiectasia I just told you ataxia telangiectasia okay right neck length ratio is important when there is height by neck length ratio more than 13.6 it's a short neck and neck length is measured as a vertical uh, or the height from the occipital protuberance to the C7 spine and this is again important uh, in the context of ataxia uh, in CVG anomalies, craniovertebral junction anomalies. Short fourth metatarsal is a feature of Refsum's disease, metatarsal okay or metacarpal here it's metatarsal Refsum's disease. About skin, dry skin or ichthyosis may be a feature of hypothyroidism or Refsum's disease, telangiectasias. Uh, in ataxia telangiectasia, telangiectasia is over the skin. Uh, it can be seen in the eyes as well. Tendon xanthomas in cerebro tendinous xanthomatosis, dermatomyositis along with ataxia can be a paraneoplastic cause as well. So basically the summary is in patient with an ataxia, when you do the neurological examination, the important areas where you have to focus, number one is speech. Number two is eyes. I told you about the range of oculomotor dysfunctions that can happen in cerebellar lesions in the previous uh, module. Uh, look at the limbs, uh, any sort of incoordination. Look at the gait as well. But do not disregard the rest of the examination, especially in case of ataxia plus. Because a 60 year old male with ataxia, you will be wondering about the diagnosis if you do not identify the patient as having some sort of Parkinsonian symptoms and autonomic dysfunction which will help you reach the diagnosis of multiple system atrophy. Otherwise, you will be clueless. So, it's very important to have a detailed neurological examination especially for ataxia plus. Okay. So, this is just uh, you know a simplified approach uh, that you should have uh, when you have got a patient presenting with ataxia. Thank you so much.